In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. This is my day. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. It is Saturday, the 10th of June, 2023, ninth week in ordinary time, and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Alice Wangui Muraya from Nairobi, Kenya, takes for us the first reading. Maria Stella Chaniwa from Harare, Zimbabwe, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Jacob Denham Akosi from Giboko Diocese in Nigeria as he celebrates his birthday today. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. And now give thanks to God, for I am ascending to him. A reading from the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 1, 5 to 15, and verse 20. In those days, Tobit called his son Tobias and said to him, My son, see to the wages of the man who went with you, and he must also be given more. So he called the angel and said to him, Take for your wages half of all that you two have brought back, and farewell. Then the angel called the two of them privately and said to them, Praise God and give thanks to him. Exalt him and give thanks to him in the presence of all the living for what he has done for you. It is good to praise God and to exalt his name. Worthily declaring the works of God. Do not be slow to give him thanks. It is good to guard the secret of a king, but gloriously to reveal the works of God, and with fitting honor to acknowledge him. Do good, and evil will not overtake you. Prayer is good when accompanied by fasting, almsgiving, and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with wrongdoing. It is better to give alms than to treasure up gold. For almsgiving delivers from death, and it will purge away every sin. Those who perform deeds of charity and of righteousness will have fullness of life. But those who commit sin are the enemies of their own lives. I will now declare the whole truth to you, and I will not conceal anything from you. I have said, it is good to guard the secret of a king, but gloriously to reveal the works of God. And so, when you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah, prayed, I brought a reminder of your prayer before the Holy One. And when you buried the dead, I was likewise present with you. When you did not hesitate to rise and leave your dinner in order to go and lay out the dead, I was sent to test you. So now, God sent me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy ages 
who present the prayers of the saints and enter into the presence of the glory of the Lord. And now, bless the Lord upon the earth and give thanks to God, for I am ascending to him who sent me. Write in a book everything that has happened to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm comes from Tobit 13, 1b and 2, 3 to 4a, 6efgh, 6ij, and 8. Response is taken from Tobit 13, verse 1b. And the response is, Blessed is God who lives forever. Blessed is God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. For he afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to hate and brings up again. And there is no one who can escape his hand. Blessed is God who lives forever. Acknowledge him before the nations, all sons of Israel. For he has scattered us among them. Make his greatness known there. Blessed is God who lives forever. But see what he will do with you. Give thanks to him with your full voice. Praise the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed is God who lives forever. I give him thanks in the land of my captivity, and I show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Blessed is God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones. All of you praise his glory. Celebrate days of joy and give thanks to him. Blessed is God who lives forever. Gospel acclamation comes from Matthew 5, verse 3. Alleluia. 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 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Mark chapter 12, verse 38 to 44. At that time, in his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes and to have salutations in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues, and the places of honor at feast, who devour widows' houses, and for a pretend make long prayers, they will receive the greater condemnation. And he sat down opposite the treasury, and watched the multitude putting money into the treasury, Many rich people put in large sums, and a poor widow came and put in two copper coins, which make a penny. And he called his disciples to him and said to them, Truly I said to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those 
who are contributing to the treasury. For they all contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, her whole living. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as we conclude the book of Tobit, we come to know more truth about the God we worship. We have come to understand what we would not have known if we did not have uh, decrocanonical books in our Bible. If we did not have the book of Tobit in our Bible. So if you don't have the Catholic Bibles as they are called. Or the Bibles which have decrocanonical books. You better look for one. Because you are going to know more about our God. You are going to understand how our God even responds to our prayers. He is known as Jehovah Rapha. He is known as the healing God. The God who heals Raphael. And that is not found in any other book of the Bible apart from the book of Tobit. God reveals himself as our healer. Since he is our healer, since he is our restorer, we have to continue praying even when we don't see answers coming our way. And prayer is not just in bending the knees, but also in doing good to other people. That's the summary we are getting from what Raphael tells us in the word of God for today. He says, when you did not hesitate to rise and leave your dinner in order to go and lay out the dead, I was sent to test you. So now God sent me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. Because sometimes even lack of marriage, even when you cannot settle with somebody in life, is a kind of a disease. God sends Raphael to come and heal us. But we have to constantly pray. We shouldn't give up even when we see ourselves getting old and nothing is happening. We should not give up on prayer. We should keep praying until God shows his kindness to us. You have prayed for a short while and you have given up on prayer because somehow things have not worked out. You are going to 50, you are going to 60, and you think it will never happen, it will never work out. Maybe you have lost your spouses a number of times and you start thinking it is a curse and so there is nothing you can do about it. No, there is something you can do about it. God answers prayer and he cancels any curse that might be on your life. He does that to Sarah and he's going to do that to you. He does that to Tobit and he's going to do that to you. He just wants you to learn to trust him and not to give up on any prayer that you offer to God. Know that he's watching Our God is watching over anything and everything that we do is ever attentive to us. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers. He is attentive to your prayers. He is not deaf. He is not blind to your tears. He is going to answer you. He does that to Tobit. He does that to Sarah. And he is going to do that to you. So now God sent me to heal you and your daughter-in-law Sarah. He does that and he is going to do that to you as well. 
I am Raphael, he introduces himself, one of the seven holy angels who present the prayers of the saints and enter into the presence of the glory of the Lord. We are surrounded by angels and if you bend your knees, you start thinking how many people does God attend to and how will he be attentive to me when he has so many people to attend to. Don't worry, he has angels and those angels present the prayers before God. Those angels are ever in the presence of God and they are 24 7 on call. So your prayer is going to be answered. Your prayer is going to be heard by our God who is attentive to every one of our pleas. He never sleeps, He never slumbers, He is ever awake. And he says, and now bless the Lord upon the earth and give thanks to God. For I am ascending to him who sent me. Write in a book everything that has happened to you. And so we have now in our hands the book of Tobit. That was instructed by angel Raphael to be a source of inspiration and strength to all those who have given up on prayer, to all those who think that God is not attentive to their cries. He answers prayer. The gospel passage of today tells us of how God hears and sees what we do for him and what we do for other people. He is attentive even to our smallest contributions in life. He is not blind. He sees what that poor widow offers because he's interested in the intention of your heart. You may think you are not doing anything much in your life, but God sees and is attentive to that contribution you are making and is going to show you his power as he reveals his presence in your life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Saturday to you. Thanks be to God. This is my daily bread. Your very life is bread. Spoken to me and I I'm desperate for you and I Your bed.